There are hundreds of terminally ill children here on the First Coast, and today our Brooks Baptiste has the story of a local father. He's trying to spread holiday joy to children living in hospice. I gave her a kiss, and I walked to the door, and I turned. She turned, looked at me, and I knew. Brendan Hoffman remembers that day back in August of 2009 when his daughter Dawn took her final breath. She was terminally ill for months and he says right before she passed, he made her a promise to keep her memory alive. Ten years later, he continues to do so by hand making doll houses for kids right here on the First Coast. Dawn was my baby and I made 36 promises to her. Brendan Hoffman says his daughter, Don, she spent her last weeks in hospice after being diagnosed with melanoma. She had eight tumors on her brain that it wasn't stage three, it was already metastasized. During her time there, Brendan and Don came across an old dollhouse. And, and she said, you need to replace that. I can't make one. I said, I made a dollhouse for you and your sister when you were little and looked like a tornado hit it. He initially resisted the idea, but after finding out the number of terminally ill children in hospice care, he says he was blown away. So he birthed a project in Don's memory, creating doll houses for kids given six months or less to live. In September, I attempted to make a doll house. First three of them I threw away. Through the years, building the custom houses like this lighthouse, home, and this fire station, which are big enough for Barbie dolls, it's become his passion. And that's what it's about. That's what those are for, to put a smile on their face and get their mind off of their illness. But even through his own physical challenges, he's kept his promise. I've had three surgeries since July, but it's something that I don't want to let go of at this time. I know one day that I'm not going to be able to do these. For now, he says he's content knowing his daughter lives on. And yes, she is smiling today. So Hoffman usually starts making the dollhouses in July, and this year he made eight of them. And in the last 10 years, 82 houses given to terminally ill kids to make their last days just a little bit brighter in honor of his daughter, Don. In the studio, Brooks Baptiste, First Coast News, on your side.